I caught one brown trout. Hi, hi, Uncle. Look how look how smooth it is. Oh, hold on. I think I have a fish. Here, hold on. Give me a second. Oh, you definitely have a fish. Hold on, Dad. Yeah, I think I may use it for bait. Oh, for bait? Mm-hmm. Or to eat. Because... Uh, because, because... Sorry. Because my family likes to eat those. Yeah? Okay, you guys can have it. Do you know how to hold them? Yeah. Okay, careful, he has really... He has yeah. teeth. Wait, hold on. My dad's on FaceTime, hold on. Just a small little brown trout. I'm gonna give it away. Yeah, it's a small little bound brown trout. Just waiting for a big brown trout. Because they have spiny. Is that a fish? Yeah, they're spiny. You had no bait? Oh my god. Alright, right here. Now I'm telling you that bait, that bait is the sauce right here. Gonna hear. You guys good? Yeah. So here's what we got going on right now. We got oil warming up. We're just gonna do a simple uh, pan fry. Get them nice and, that's probably not enough oil, but I don't wanna waste a lot of oil for like five slabs of fish. All right, so we got oil heating up. This right here is flour, pepper, salt, and I'm just gonna I do that uh, classic red hot um, and flour technique. So right now we have the fish that we caught today fresh. I did not want to show how we cleaned it because I want to keep this channel graphic free. Uh, this is the guy that uh, outfished me today. GG to him. What can I say? Paradise. 
So let's get these guys into more. I'm going to do a fish taco today. I already removed the pin bones, remove skin. Everything is easily eaten. And uh, I had to pat these dry so that when we put the sauce or the franks, it's not too watery. And you know, water and oil, never a good thing to mix. We were hoping for uh, quality, but uh, we were <laughs> kind of just got quantity. Oh, I mean, looking at our little fillet batch here, it doesn't look like we got quantity either. We just tried. We just tried. We just we just tried our best. That's all we can say. So we're not gonna use eggs because we were told that uh, Frank's is could be a substitute for eggs, so you don't, um, you know. I have to go through all that and I'm uh, just going to feel one more time, see if I feel any more pin bones. I cleaned it pretty well, but always got to make sure. Don't want to bite into a fish taco and then have to deal with bones. I'm not the chef in the family, it's my mom, but uh, trying to branch out, do my own thing. Hopefully, uh, I mean, it's not going to be as good as whatever my parents can cook. I already know it. I would like this guy to try it right here, but the dude's literally allergic to seafood. Like, like fishing, he's a big angler. He loves fishing, but the dude is allergic. Like, I, I always think like, how is that even possible? But I mean, I guess if you, dang, I missed some pin bones right here. Feel them. Well, it's not bad, it's really tiny, it's just, I thought I had removed all of them pretty nicely before. All right. So, in the Red Hots, slather. Just gonna dump a lot in here and shake it up. Probably do seven pieces or half of our batch because I don't want it to be too filled up in there. Get up. That's the one thing I try not to do is use so much ingredients and then when I'm done cooking my food or done prepping, it's like I have so much leftover ingredients. Like that's why there's probably not much flour. I probably could do more. Right, let's do this. Let's put the heat a little lower. I'm not the chef in the family. I'm already oh. jumping. I'm already jumping. I'm already hiding. All right, so let's get some tongs out here. Let's, uh, they look already crisp up. They look like I need to flip them already at the high heat. I'm not gonna turn on the fan for the sake of the video, just cause, you know, I get that content. Smelly house, it's aight, smelly house. Let's put down the heat, these guys are cooking fast.
the flaky one I know is the trout oh just to let you guys know we have both um, whiting um, trout uh, sand trout and uh, I think that's about it yeah, yeah. so the real the ones that are falling off those ones are the sand trout uh, and that is super super soft Yo, these are tiny little nugs. Second batch is better. You know why, Bubba? Why? Because I know what I'm doing. <laughs> the first batch, I was just like, all right, here it is. And you put them in. Yeah, just put them in. Oh, that's, that's, this is a lot crunchier, firm, stays together. Looking good. Looking good. All right, I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna make some little, uh, not pico, but uh, maybe some guacamole to go with this. So I finished frying, I made uh, guacamole. Uh, that's the finished product right there. This is standard guac. This is avocado, tomato, onion, cilantro, lime. You could probably make a better recipe. But I like to make a little bed of guac. Stack the fish pretty high. West Coast thing to put cabbage on a fish taco. And then you're making tacos, so you gotta have the authentic Hispanic kick. And that is Frank Red Hot's fish taco. <laughs>